Manu, what are we gonna do today? I don't speak in Vamos a hoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Andy in the Andes. Today, we are doing the Metro de Santiago. What are the coolest things you can see in the metro stations in just one ride? I'm here at Escuela Militar with my friend Manu. Say hi. And we're gonna be checking out the coolest murals and art and stations in the Santiago Metro. So let's go. Okay guys, so to try the Metro, the first thing you're gonna need is one of these, which is called a beep card. Um, the VEEP cards can be bought right here behind me um, at pretty much every Mestro station, and they cost 1,550 pesos, which is about $2. Each ride costs about a dollar, and you can reload that on the card. Another important thing to consider is which direction you're going. On this one, line one, this direction is for, towards San Pablo, and the other direction is towards Los Dominicos. So it's important to know whatever station you're trying to go to, which line it's on, and what direction you're go going to. So it's important to remember what the terminal stations or the end stations are of each line. In this case, we have Los Dominicos and San Pablo for line one. Before starting the Metro Adventure, Manu and I had to wait for our friend Edu to show up to the station. We decided to grab lunch right there at Escuela Militar at a place called Dennis Fries, which is a food truck with very American-style burgers and fries. Our friend Romina is a manager there, and so she gave us a discount. We also ran into our friend Chris from church. Check it out. Okay guys, before we start the Metro Adventure, we are here at Venice Fries getting some lunch with my friend Chris, Edu, and Mano. Guys, what are you gonna eat? Guess I'm gonna they eat. don't know what that means because they don't speak English. Well, some of them do. But anyway, we're gonna eat lunch and then we'll see you guys in a minute. See you soon. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the part of the video where I have to admit something to you. Although I do speak and understand Spanish very well, I gotta admit I did not catch every single word that Eduardo said in this video. So I'm gonna try to subtitle him the best I can and translate things into English, but just to let you know for those of you who do speak Spanish as well, you're gonna notice that not everything is translated or subtitled accurately. I'm sorry, it's the best I can do. With that being said, Back to the video. En la explicación de por qué el metro es tan así es porque, bueno, el metro te debería, este metro, esta línea, al igual que la línea 3, debería haberse lanzado hace mucho tiempo. Pero como el tiempo no les calzó, tuvieron que hacer algo súper rápido y bueno, dejarlo de forma decente, pero no tan bonita como los otros metros. Alright guys, so we just got done eating, we hopped on the line one train, now we're in Los Leones, which is actually my local station. Uh, and this is the combination tunnel, it's called the Via Suecia, because we are in Barrio Suecia. And so we are going to head, get on the line 6 and head down to Lo Valledor. I don't really know what we're going to see, but my friends promise it's going to be cool. So, let's go. Alright guys, so we're here on the Line 6 platform, um, headed down to Lo Valle. Um, 
Originally, I really wanted to head to the Centro and check out some of the cooler stations like Ule Chile and Bellas Artes, but unfortunately, because of the social situation here, um, there are a lot of protests going on. Um, I'm not really sure if any of them are happening right now, but it's possible. They're already starting to close down some stations. And so because of that, we decided to just stay away from that area entirely just for our own safety um, and check out some of the other cool stations in the lesser visited areas of Santiago. So I think that'll make a better video for you guys. And so we're gonna go check it out. Any ideas? Okay guys, so right now I am here in Estacion Cerrillos um, with Manuel and Edu. And to be fair, I don't really know what this is about, but as you can see behind me, there's a really cool mural and an airplane inside the metro station. So, uh, this is our first stop on our journey and soon we'll be heading back to Lo Valladolid in Franklin and maybe some other metro stops, but I think this one's pretty cool. Alright guys, we are here at Lo Valledor, checking out mural number two of the trip. Uh, this station is also at the end here of the line six next to Cerrillos. Not a very commonly visited part of the Santiago Metro system, but once again a station with some really cool murals. It's called A Puro Corazón by Ian Pierce. Ian Pierce. And... Esto es lo que simboliza generalmente son todas las culturas chilenas. Son todos los pasados de Chile. Por ejemplo, si te das cuenta... Bueno, Andrew, graba para allá. Lo trataré de explicarlo fuerte. A ver, si se dan cuenta, allá en cada una de las cuatro imágenes representa también a los sectores también de Chile, al igual que también las culturas que había. Como por ejemplo, la señorita de allá, Ustedes lo pueden ver ahí justo. Es el de la vendimia, la gente que sacaba las semillas para hacer también el tema de los vinos, etc. La gente de por allá era el que sacaba las verduras, los, los trigos, los, los choclos, cosas que se le dice también. También hay referencias mapuches, como por ejemplo el cultrón de ahí al fondo, que está en tipo cruz también, al igual que él. él eso, para los que no sepan, son zapallos italianos. Eso, pues. Zapallos italianos. Eso es lo que acá también se conoce como bueno, es lo más típico para la sobepilla. Y bueno, el clásico obviamente que es la gente que hace el tema del trabajo. En general todo lo que es esta obra es alude a lo que es el trabajo de la agricultura en todo Chile. El sacrificio que hace la gente de antaño que lo hacía eh, desde antes de que estuviera la dictadura y mucho tiempo en el, en el año de las colonias. Por eso lo Valladolid también se le conoce como el terminal de, de la feria porque hay, un, hay una feria gigante. Este lugar. Y aquí es donde también se repartía y se hacía el tema de los campos. Por ahí. Por eso es que este lugar es un tanto representativo en eso. Alright guys, I'm here in front of the mural that is located in Metro Franklin, which is the combination of the Line 2 and the Line 6. Um, this is actually a station that I use pretty frequently. I have an English class that isn't too far from here. Um, and yeah, this is a mural that I see weekly and I think it's really cool. Um, I should probably do more research and figure out you know, what it's about, and, but I think it's really cool stuff. And 
yeah, it's one of my favorite things about the Metro here is the art. It's really interesting. So here we have a little diorama of um, the Estacion San Diego and a whole bunch of cattle. So I don't really know what this is, but it's really interesting. You have a really nice mural there in the back and all of the cattle here. Over here, it says that they sell chicha, uh, which is a traditional Chilean and Bolivian and other places drink, white wine, and the place is called El Pobre Chancho, the Poor Pig. Cool. Okay guys, so we're here at Ciudad del Niño, and this is a station that I'm actually really glad we came to. Um, so as you can wow. see behind me, right here, uh, there is art above the tracks and also on either side of the platforms. Um, and it's all art that appears to be done by children, and that makes sense because Ciudad del Niño means city of children. Um, and there are little messages here on either side, uh, on either side of... We're going to our last stop. Where where are we going? Um, <laughs> Fernando Francisco Velasco. What? Fernando Francisco de Velasco. No, it's Fernando Castillo Velasco. Do you not know how to read? Oh, oh my God! Sorry. <laughs> and what are we gonna find there? Yeah. What? Ira Rasaval. Ira Rasaval. How do you say that? Ira Rasaval. One more time. Ira Rasaval. Yeah, all you all you gringos out there, tell me how try to pronounce that. Send me a video with you trying to, to say that word. Monsignor Seguir. Try this one out. Ñuñoa. But for for a for a gringo that would be very hard to say. No, Ñuñoa. Okay, well This is not difficult. What do you think? It's not difficult. What? <laughs> what? Do you speak English? No, I don't know. Dira Rasa. I, Ira Razabal. Ahora luego Monseñor Isaguirre. Monseñor Isaguirre. Y por último Ñuñoa. Ñuñoa. Ves que no fue tan complicado. <laughs> yeah, but for a, for a gringo, it, it, those words are hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. So, Edu just told me a really interesting dato about the metro. Yeah. Uh, considering that everybody's afraid of coronavirus right now. Um, what, what, what is going on? Que el metro, actualmente, este metro en general, es considerado como una de las incubadoras de bacterias, de enfermedades, de todo y todo eso. Como el, siempre como el mes de um, abril, hasta junio, o, o a veces en los peores casos hasta septiembre dura, que, porque la temperatura de los metros es tan alta, y la gente como este, este chico de acá, eh, eh, estornuda demasiado, eh, hace que se, in, se incuben y quede mucho más tiempo ahí pegado el virus. Entonces pasa que mucha gente, como pasa por todos los so, metros. Wash your hands. Sí, wash your hands. And don't, don't breathe the air in the metro. O oh, también, si quieren toser, que tosan acá, por favor. Porque, Please. Porque We don't want coronavirus. <laughs> no. Keep it away from us. Nadie no, no quiere el coronavirus. That's your, <laughs> that's your PSA for the day. Yeah. también agregar lo mismo que en la línea 2 que es sobre el tema de la inclusión hacia los niños pero haciendo una alusión a lo que es también eh, todo Chile por lo cual hay muchas partes de Chile dentro de esta pintura hay partes del sur, hay partes del norte, del centro, la cordillera por eso hay pájaros, hay animales, hay cosas que no se notan bien pero simbolizan eso entonces es, es bien gracioso porque este lugar no era con esa intención pero se logró algo mejor así que all right guys, this is the exit. This signifies the end of our journey. This is the point of no return. Once you walk through here, you have to pay again to get back on the metro. And we're out. See you guys next time.
Bueno, este es el final del video. Les dejamos cordialmente invitados a suscribirse a la página. Aprieta el botón de la campanita para que puedan por lo menos leer las notificaciones de los nuevos videos. Y eh, estén atentos a las nuevas páginas de Instagram que van a estar debajo de la suscripción para que puedan verlo y, no sé, ver unas fotos y si quieren alguna sesión de fotos. Es lo mismo. Y sigan el canal de Arte. Yeah, pretty much everything he said. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, see you later.